coming along guys cheers for tuning in so a couple of people mentioned to me about doing the track guide unfortunately i wasn't able to do week one at spa this is week two at okayama it's an absolute stinker for me i'm not that quick in this one but hopefully this will be of help to somebody if it is do us a huge favor hit that like button before you go and obviously if you like this sort of content please consider subscribing right let's go Okay, so before we break the lap down, we're going to go on board. This was my fastest lap. Took me a while. Not the best round here. I really struggled with this, to be honest. Um, we did a 144.9 in the end. Uh, optimum of 144.5. So there's a little bit of time left on the table here, but I just couldn't hook up that perfect lap. But there is time there. Missed a couple of apexes, ran a little bit wide a couple of times. But we'll go on board and then we'll break it down. there we go so like i say a little bit of time left on the table i think so we'll run it back uh, as this is going to be important so we'll go chopper camp uh, in just in terms of the line um let's drop it down actually so you'll have to bear with me with this it's my first time doing one of these so yeah we'll run it slow so basically as you approach this uh lighter area uh, again, apologies. Um, basically, as the green starts to disappear, this is where I start to apply the brake. Just about there. You want to be as as far over as you dare, really, to the left-hand side. You can see there's a little bit left on the table for me there. Didn't want to risk it too much. You can see the brakes coming on there, basically just as uh, it drops away from the green drops away from the cockpit and i'm trail breaking in. you can see the brake trace over there so i'm trail breaking in quite heavily actually didn't realize there was that much brakes on there doesn't feel like it is um slowing the car down and then turning it in now i do miss this apex a little bit you can see the car starting to disagree with me a little bit at that point back in starting to go but it doesn't go too badly um yeah and we get a reasonable exit i think as we go down there so i look to try and get back onto the throttle somewhere around when these tires disappear um the earlier the better as soon as you can get on the throttle the better so you can hear it come on there so a little bit later than i would have liked but that'll be down to the line and the back end stepping out so through we go then
and then at this point I'm looking for these tyre marks right so if I'm brave if the tyres are nice and warm brakes are nice and warm I'll brake right on top of them but this was um, fairly early on in the uh, life of the tyres and the brakes I suppose it's probably my second or third lap I believe the tyres just drop off very quickly so I wasn't able to sustain the pace after a couple of laps so yeah you can see this is the point where I'm starting to apply the brakes if you want to play it safe there's your little hundred board get past that and you, you're pretty much going to be on the brakes there at some point so this is what I'm looking for this is my marker I know I've gone past the 100 but this is my marker at this point so braking down the third gear nice and early turning and, and again back on the throttle as soon as I can so we'll roll it forward I normally aim for this if I can get on the throttle there then I'm pretty pleased so just rolling off and I've actually got on nice and early there which is probably why I drift a little wide coming out of here and I've had to lift you can see the throttle there. I've had to lift a little bit this is why there's a little bit of time left in this lap so I come ar around the corner and actually shift up short shift into fourth gear there and I do get a little bit of a twitch as the car unsettles itself on the uh curb there yep just get a little bit of dust and then we're swinging over as quickly as we can and we're looking for this um marshall's hut whatever you want to call it and this green area here is quite important so i'm sort of like looking for these two i want to be over before this and i want to be turning before this so that's what the two things that i'm looking for at this point so as you roll it over here i'll probably start to hit the brakes when i get level with this there we go so the brakes are on there throttles coming off and then i'll start to feed the uh the steering angle over i'll go full speed so i can get rid of this of course i'll start to feed the steering on at uh at this point here so at this point i'm looking for the start of this curb and I want to be on the throttle by the time I get to it. Again, if I can get on nice and early, then we're laughing. So, a little bit late there, still not on it, just about squeezing it there. So, not too bad. Would have liked to have been a little bit earlier. And then you pretty much know where, where your line's going to go as you come through. As this kind of lines up, as this wall lines up with the end of that barrier it's kind of what i'm looking at at this point once it clears it once i start coming through there and i'm looking there once this wall is passed or once the barriers past the wall there I start to throttle up so a little bit hesitant but again probably because i uh had that twitch in the early stage that little twitch as i come off here probably just enough to unsettle it so this was a little bit unsettled again back end goes a little bit and I'm a little bit late on the throttle there but still pretty pleased with the way we come out kept the speed up there so up to fifth try and straight line this as much as possible and then this is obviously the most important corner on the track so I tend to go between the 100 and the 50 I'm not sure if there's any other references here so i've gone past you can just well i can just see in my left screen you can't um i go past the 100 um and then yeah there's there's nothing really visual here apart from get past the 100 and uh see how brave you feel again trying to extend the track as far over as you can there's a little bit left there for me but playing it safe again now this one it's difficult because if you turn in too early the back end's going to go but you do need to turn in early enough that you can get the power down nice and early ideally you want to be on the power somewhere um somewhere here if you can so just as that starts to um lighten the color of the grass sorry 
Um, once that starts to lighten a little bit, you can try and feed the power on as early as you dare. So we're on. Oh, still a little bit so hesitant there. So this is why I've probably lost a little bit more speed here. So we're off the brakes, as you can see. And then I'm not quite happy with the line, so I've just held them a little bit more before we get back on the throttle, which will be just about there. So, yeah, again, just looking for this lighter colour on the uh, on the inside there. But, yeah, ideally now, but I'm a little bit late, a little bit extra brakes to get the nose in. And I actually take it a little bit too tight, I think. You don't want to be over here. You don't want to be running out wide there, but... Yeah, probably try and avoid this curb just a little bit. Maybe swing it in a little bit wider, possibly. And then away we go. So at this point, we're probably looking for the 100 board again. And again, it's how, uh, it's how brave you feel on the brakes now. So as we go through past the 100 board and I'm pretty much straight on the brakes there as it disappears from my vision on the left I'm starting to squeeze and I'm keeping the car nice and straight at this point don't want to uh, asking too much of the tyres now it dips a little bit here and it's a little bit banked as you turn in so you can sort of use that to your advantage and go a little bit later than you would normally so we'll go back on board um, down into the second gear. You don't need first gear anywhere on this track, by the way. So down into the second gear, nice and tight, holding the brakes all the way in. Um, as you do on most of these corners, try not to go above 90 um, degrees steering. You can see I'm cranking this a little bit more than I would ideally want to do, because that's going to scrub a little bit more speed off. You can see I'm sort of feathering the throttle as well. But then up we go, and this is the, the worst little bit for me. Can't stand these two corners coming up. So we're holding it in second. Now there might be a better way of doing this, but I couldn't find uh, a way of getting the nose in that wasn't unsettling the can and setting me wide as we dip down into this bit. So we'll go uh, just on far chase for now. I'll play it through normal speed. So you don't want to be too wide. As you come through here, you don't want to be all the way out here because you're just wasting time. Try and get over as early as you can. Again, as wide as you possibly dare. Now, again, my line's not perfect. So, get it over if you can. Now, I've just kept it in second. Done the, uh, the work with the brakes. Start to do the work with the steering. At this point, you can just see my steering input being applied there. Still in second gear. And then I actually just shift it into third there so we're just going on the brakes in second turning in braking getting the nose in and then shifting straight up to, uh, to third gear and back on the power trying to not let it go too uh too wide here for the off track but yeah just really uh difficult little sequences for me don't know if other people struggle with it but I do uh, struggle, and I always have in the early days with the Mazda. Would always struggle around here. This one as well. Never quite sure where to get the brakes on or the line to take, but I'm pretty much aiming to sort of start the braking at this curb in here. So probably a little bit before as it drops underneath the the view from the cockpit. So yeah, roll it on. So the brakes are just starting to be applied now, and then obviously throttle off, and I start to ease the steering on now i take a lot of that curb and a lot of this curb and then pretty much as i start to touch that curb i'll get back on the throttle obviously the car's quite unsettled um you've got to be confident with this you'll go wide um if you don't get it right you can see i've already come off the throttle there because i'm probably going to be drifting out wide this is where most of my off tracks come from And then we're looking for the 50 board on this one, hard on the brakes down to second gear. Don't let the back end step out, so you want to be braking in a straight line, trying not to unsettle it with too much steering input at this stage again. Down the second, keep it tight. Again, you don't want to be all the way over. 
to the uh, to the left hand side here leave yourself a little bit of room try and control the back end as you come round again I've missed the apex a little bit there back on the throttle and then the next corner is probably the only one I'm happy with on the whole uh, the whole lap up to fourth gear look for the tower once it disappears you just flat out to the right straight in you might need a bit of a feather I don't think I did yeah I'm just hard on the throttle there and again once this drops off from underneath you and you see the lighter stuff hit the brakes try and get the apex again I've missed it so I probably missed nine out of ten of the apexes on this um, lap but it's still the best one I, I was able to do um, so yeah there we go that's um, that's the best I could I could manage this time around again not the best circuit for me Okayama a um, couple of things I will mention. Um, brake valve on this one I've got set to 38. Um, brake valve at 38. And then in the previous video I mentioned to shift up um, early. And what I'm going to um, advise now is you shift up even earlier than that. So if we go on board again, and we'll just watch the lap for one final time from the cockpit. Um, I pretty much shift up when the orange turns into red so when you start seeing the red lights on the dash shift up it seems really early but when i was following some of the quicker guys at spa if you caught my streams or any of my videos this week you'll have seen me battling for podiums with um yeah the quickest guys out there and i noticed i was losing out on the straights and i could hear the engines and they were shifting way earlier than me and i thought i was shifting early so i'm now shifting as the orange turns to red so before you dismiss it give it a go see if it improves your lap times so keep an eye on it so they're five three i shifted up to that one And then down hard on the brakes when you see the tyres, turn in, wait for the lighter stuff, back on the throttle, short shift if you need to, stop yourself going wide, try and avoid that little kink. Braking at the hut, aim for the apex, once the uh, barrier appears or disappears, back on the throttle, again shifting up 5253, nice and straight through all this, brake as late as you dare, past the 100, slam it on down to third gear, don't go down to second, nice and tight and again shift it up early this is the one where you'll feel like you want to rev it out more because you're going up an hill but just stick with it five two five three just seems to be where the power is and then through the hairpin one more time past the hundred board hard on the brakes down a second use that little bit of uh, banking squeeze it nice and gentle now do what you need to do here with the gearbox i found a little short shift to third settled it down a little touch of the brakes to get the nose in on this bit as easy as you can back on the throttle looking for the 50 board on this one nice and hard on the brakes again down to second gear keep it tight watch the back end from stepping out squeeze the power back on stay to the right again squeeze it as much as you can keep your eye on the the outside curve look for that tower up to fourth chuck it in look for the light stuff keep it in fourth gear back on as early as you possibly can watch the off track and then look for your red light again and up you go that'll do you so yeah like i said not perfect by any means you can see all the problems i've had uh, down there loads of off tracks really not quick i'm not sure how i would do over race distance but yeah my best lap there was um i think it was lap two coming out um a 44.9 with a 44.5 optimum so let me know in the comments um what you did let me know how quick you can go how much quicker than me you were able to go like i say it's the first little track guide i've ever done um if you want to see anything else um if you want me to go through anything differently different camera angles um just let me know like i say 
it's something new that I'm doing. But if I can help some years get a little bit quicker in a car that I'm quite comfortable in, then I'll do what I can for you. So, yeah, cheers, guys. Right, there we go. Not perfect by any stretch, but it was the best I was able to do. Hopefully, I can help some of you go a little bit quicker and be a little bit more competitive. Like I said there, if there's anything else you want to see in these track guides, whether it's camera angles um, or something that I'm just missing that you feel is going to help you, something that you would like to know, just give me a shout and I'll try and uh, cover it in the next one. If you like the video, do us a huge favour. Hit that like button before you go. If you're not yet subscribing to the channel and obviously you like this sort of content, please consider clicking that button down there and we'll see you next week. Cheers.